Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Recreating. Today we're going to repaint this nice little Triceratops, this battle-ready Triceratops. We're going to paint all this, make it look nice, repaint the whole thing. Uh, stay tuned. Hey guys, so... Um, as you guys could tell, I first started with the coat of primer, primed it all white. Um, I don't think it's necessary to show the process because you just basically paint it white. <laughs> um, anyways, it's just so the the other paints could stick better to the toy or to the plastic. Um, so this will be the undertone. Um, this is what's going to stay underneath all the little um, fleshy tones or the you see how dinosaurs have little bumps and everything on their skin and little bumps um, this would be like basically the background or the backdrop and then you will accentuate the, the like the skin texture and all that stuff you'll see what I mean in, the, in a little bit so um, that would basically just paint the the undertone the under skin like the skin layer at the bottom this is what's gonna pop, make the colors pop out more when once you like start uh, dry brushing like I'm doing here. Um, dry brushing with uh, yellow. So basically, the dry brushing just care just paints over the stuff that's involved. You know what I mean? So it's the stuff that sticks out. So basically, basically like the, the textures, the wrinkles, and whatnot. Um, when you dry brush, the only thing you're painting is the stuff that's popping out. So it's me going over with the light green. Um, I wanted to put as much color as possible. When I first started this project, I, I really hadn't, I didn't really have anything in mind. Like I, I didn't expect a color, a, a certain color. Um, green was the first thing I thought of once I started painting this guy. So usually that's when the best art comes out is when you feel it. You know what I mean? I just felt like di uh, painting the dinosaur. So I started painting it. Uh, this is a darker green. Um, and basically just going with darker darker uh, greens <clears throat> I'm trying to get as much layers as possible um, that's the way it looks a lot better if you look at skin it's not really just one color it's uh, hundreds of colors but um, anyway so I'm diving in the white now at the bottom with undertone for his underbelly and um, and kind of blending it in with green so you can see a little bit of green texture in there um, and then there's a darker green so yeah, basically you can't rush art <laughs> you can't really rush art because if you draw something and somebody tells you go draw this for me draw that for me um, it won't come out as good as you want it to I mean it'll come out pretty good because you're an artist and it'll come out good but it won't come out as great as the artist would like for it to be you know what I mean it won't be your best work unless you really feel like doing it then yeah, so this is just throwing in some little specks of yellow. Um, I screwed up right here. <laughs> so I just threw in a little bit of yellow for texture. Just kept specking. Um, I, just, I did this throughout the dinosaur. So you'll see it at the end of the video how this works out for the, for the skin tone. So make sure you do it both sides. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, um, um, I... After I started painting it, I kind of had the idea of what I wanted, what I wanted to go with. Um, most dinosaurs are painted with a white thunder belly, so that's what I was going for. Just nice little simple paint, like a little green paint. Um, I think this is the very first dinosaur I did, like realistic. Like all the other ones I did, if you guys haven't seen them, are the Chaos Effect Theory dinosaurs, which are all like neon crazy blue orange weird colors and those were the best dinosaurs that I thought you know so I, that's what I went with when I colored them anyways I wanted to do realistic looking dinosaurs or realistic uh, type of paint uh, so that's what I went with here um, originally I wasn't gonna do these little tribal stripes or whatever you want to call it um, but I was like heck why not I kind of I kind of got a, like a like a, a chameleon feel to this one once I started painting it I was like it kind of reminds me of chameleon so I just started painting it um, like a chameleon 
I know chameleons have like all kinds of weird colors like red and blue and all that stuff. I wasn't gonna do that originally, but I was like, let me go with the black stripes first just to see what it looks like. If I like it, cool, I'll keep it. If not, then I'll try the red and blue and yellow and all that crazy um, colors. But uh, fortunately, I liked the way it came out. So uh, I didn't have to go with all those crazy uh, chameleon colors. So uh, this is me starting with the paint. You guys can see my palette. It's just a variety of greens, green tones, basically. Uh, it's a bunch of different greens in there. <clears throat> That's what I was going with. So, uh, yeah, this is the face. The face, I should have painted at the same time because the face, to me, it came out a little bit lighter than the rest of the body. So I should have painted at the exact same time and painted the body, but, yeah, live and you learn. <clears throat> and then, um, also with the face and the horns and all that stuff, I originally painted them white. White didn't look good, so I started painting them yellow. Um, just throwing the little specks again, little parts of yellow. And so uh, I had to do like a darker tone for the for the face. Put a little bit more green in there. A darker tone for green. So anyways, the horns. Um, oh, speaking of the horns, <laughs> uh, so I just did the highlighted white. Uh, originally they were yellow with a little bit of gray in there and then um, I'll go back with it and then you know, give it a nice little wash a little black wash so they have like little text or little fade to it um, do the weathering uh, just so it could stand out a little bit more and, and whoever sculpted this dinosaur was, did a great job with it because you could see so much detail in it and once again this I just I just went with whatever came out and this is what came out so I just started doing this. I thought it was a pretty cool little tribal thing in his face. Um, I was originally going to stop there but I kept going. Uh, sometimes you overwork something and I kind of felt like I did this on this guy on the face at least. I thought, I thought I overworked the face but I don't know let me know in the comments down below guys do you guys think I overworked the face? I should have just left it with a little two circle thing. You know? Let me know. I don't know. Um, so yeah, let's just put a little black in there. Yeah, and I thought I, I liked it. it. It was okay. I think I did a little too much in the face, but yeah, it works. I think it works. Whatever. So there's a little wash I was telling you. It was just basically black with a lot of water in it, and uh, just wash off, and um, it just sinks into whatever is you know deeper. So all the little cuts and all that stuff. It uh. It accentuates it, you know what I mean? It pop it makes it look a lot better. Uh, like all the little details on the on the horns and all that good good stuff. So the eyeballs of course I had to go a little bit darker. Um, so I put a lot of green also on the nostrils I put a lot of green, a little darker green in there. And then now for the scars or for the scar, I should say the bite that's on the side. Um, I painted it all black first and then I went in there with the uh, with red and I put black on the red and put it in there and then I went lighter red and lighter red and lighter red and I kept going and kept going. Um, there's the white for the bones and then the fatty meat that's in there. And then I, I did go back in there after after it dried because it was really really wet so I had to go back in there and you know, make the bones pop a little bit more. So, put some nice little blood in there, make it look gory. <laughs> As for the eyes, I just painted them red, and then I'm painting the pupils black. So, um, for this point, um, I just wanted to highlight the eyes, make them look a little bit sunk in. So, I just went with black, and also I just wanted to make the cracks look a lot better. So, um, I also went in there with black. Uh, just to make them pop a little bit more like make them noticeable because whoever made this sculpt like I said uh, did an awesome job and uh, I just wanted to show off the sculpt <laughs> so uh, yeah just little highlights on the top of the dinosaur and we are done alright guys so I am completely done there she is all nice and painted like 
Is there a little scar there? I'm gonna add a little bit more red here and there, but it's still kind of wet, so I don't want to touch it. I don't want to mess with it. I don't know if you guys can see a little speckles of pink there throughout the whole body. I might go over the black with white. So the black could pop a little bit more, but um, maybe on another video I'll continue this little guy. But I'm happy the way it turned out. I mean, I like the way it is. I love the way it came out. It's pretty cool. Top look to it. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this repaint. Uh, please don't forget to hit the like button if you did like it. If you didn't like it, you can hit the thumbs down button. It won't offend me. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you like the repaint or you guys want to keep doing these dino repaints or continue on with something else uh, let me know in the comments down below thank you guys so much for watching if you're new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe because if you guys do guess what you guys will see me on the next one peace all right guys so before i go i did a little something else to it um i added white to the stripes i really like how the face looks like this but uh, i don't know about the rest of the body I kind of like it, but I kind of don't like it. I feel like it's a little too much. But I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like it better like this? Or do you guys like it better just black like that? I like both ways. I, honestly, I like how this looks because it looks kind of like a chameleon. It looks like really, like really cool chameleon. It would have probably been cool if I put like a, uh, like a, like a light green around the black. I might look pretty cool too, but I might do that in a different dinosaur because I already put white on this one. So uh, let me know in the comments down below. Do you guys prefer it like this, like this black, just black with no white lines on it, or would you guys prefer it like this with with the white lines on it? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I appreciate you guys leaving that comment. Uh, if you guys do like it, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up. If you guys do subscribe, guess what? You guys will see me on the next one. Peace.